Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today we have a really special situation over here. I'm so excited to get my Bone Fire Tarot second edition. I always thought, same way I thought about the Ritual Tarot, this deck is too busy and not my jam. And then I was watching Lisa do, um, uh, oh my god, her video series, helping people pick decks and I she was trying to convince I forget who it was about the bonfire and I think they ended up picking it in the end I forget which video that was anyways and it made me start to think about it and I thought really long and hard about it and I watched a lot of walkthroughs but only like parts of it because I didn't want to know every card and I think I fell in love a little bit I definitely wanted to give it a go and I found it at my local shop that I like to go to. And they had it on pre-order. And it was like 5 or $6 cheaper than Amazon or even Indigo or whatever. It was cheaper than anywhere else. So I pre-ordered it. They called me. I went and picked it up. But when I knew this was coming out, because whenever I thought about it, this was in pre-order status. This was like six months ago or something or eight months ago. And it was in pre-order. They had just announced that they were going to do it. And so I was debating on getting the first edition. But then when I found out the second edition was going to be borderless. Oh, and the guidebook they said was going to be a little bit better. I was all about it. And then I found out from Lisa that there's the Weird of Sarah Howard, which is the same artist. And they go really good together. And it just happened, she had just did a print run, a new print run, because this had been out of print for a while. And so I ordered it. I think there's still some left on her website, because she she did a print run just this past summer. And anyways, so this has been sealed the whole time. I just unsealed it when I brought this home the other day. So I wanted to do a walkthrough of them together to see how they pair together, because I did talk to Lisa, and she said she definitely pairs them together. So... I wanted to do that today. So, you're here at Tarot Net Plans. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you here on Tarot Tube, Instagram, and TikTok mostly. All right, let's get into the situation. Okay, so we have the second edition. It's a red feather production. It's matte, and I believe the first edition was glossy. Look at all that fireness. And I still have to go out and find some fabric. I almost want to find this unless I find something better. So I don't have more of this, I don't think. So we have a nice big guidebook. And then we have the cards. I love that it comes edged in this reddish orange color. I think it's great. I know that they changed the backs. I do love these colorful backs because I think it was black and white before. So I definitely prefer this. The other ones were glossy. These are matte. Um, and the other ones had a black border with the name of the card underneath. But from my understanding, the name of the card's in the artwork. So it was kind of redundant. So I'm super glad that it's a borderless. I think this will look really great. I think it'll good good on um, this tarot cloth specifically. But we're going to do a full walkthrough here in a second. I just wanted to take a little look at this guidebook. Oh, I love that it had colored pictures. I love that the writing is a nice size to read it. That's great. Let's see what's in the beginning now. Okay, so chapter one, tattoos in the tarot. Chapter two, a few words of the on the artistic process. Chapter three, at last the handbook begins. And then in part two, chapter four, the major arcana, a note about the reversals. And then you have a list of all the major arcanas in their pages. Part three, minor arcana. And chapter 5, the suit of wands, bonfire wands. And then we go on to all of them. And then chapter 9, reading the tarot and bonfire spreads. 
Chapter 10, Before I Go, and a Warning, Glossary. Well, there's lots of stuff in here. A ton of stuff. So here is the Fool, I assume. Oh, so there's lots about the Fool. So there's a couple of pages on each one. That's awesome. Let's check the minors and see if we're still in the same situation. Ooh, death. So there's not as much. There's about a page, a page and a half. Well, sometimes two full pages for the minors. So that's good to know. So there's quite a bit of information in here. I want to see the spreads. One card wonder, Beltane, three card spread. Bonefire, eight card enlightenment. So there's three spreads. So a nice chunky guidebook, which is exciting. So then for the weirdest Sarah Howard, it's a nice box cutouts. This one's a nut edge, so I'll definitely be edging it. This is linen, so it's a nice matte linen. So that's awesome. And then we have a little guidebook. And I believe this is based on like um, playing cards. Yeah. Page of Hearts, Jack of Hearts, Queen of Hearts, Ace of Spades, Two of Spades. So yeah, it goes through all those. So it's definitely associated with playing cards. And here's some keyword associations. So that's cool if you just want to do something quick. So yeah, a good little guidebook. Small, but it's okay. It works for me. And I love the box. Like, look at how cute that is. Like, really, really well done. Actually, maybe we should leave the guidebooks out and we'll do a one-card pull from each at the end. All right. There's definitely more cards in the tarot than the oracle, but we will still do the side-by-side. -side. Let's see if I can bring the camera a little bit closer. Hold on a second, guys. We're going for a ride. All right, that is better. At least that's a little closer. Let's see if we can go a little more closer. I think that's pretty good. Okay. Let's go with that. That's a little bit lighter over there. You know what we might do is because I think the linen won't pick up the sheen as much as the mat. So let's put the linen over here. Yeah, I think that works pretty good. Okay, so we have a covered card on the Oracle. This is the weirdest Sarah Howard, Sunkist Oracle of the Sacred Salty Lake by Gabby Angus West. They're both by Gabby Angus West. Okay. All right. So we have Waking Up the Sun with the Fool. I Trust You with the Magician. Oh, wow. You know, I heard people say that the color saturation wasn't as good in this. But you know what? Like, as a person that only owns this one and doesn't own the first edition, I don't know how much I would notice that. So I'm fine with it. But I did see that someone said that they zoomed in a little bit in order to cut off the borders. Again, because I don't have the first edition, I don't know if I'll notice. But what I am noticing is that the art styles are so similar, which is good. This one may be a little bit more saturated. At least that fire. I don't know. But very cool. I think they're both good cardstock. I'm really excited that this is linen. Always one of always the one bathing in my undies. 
All right, with the high priestess. Oh, she looks uh, almost aggressive. Bringing you home with the empress. Oh, this is what I was wondering if they're gonna be a little bit stuck together. We'll get that sorted. We all have our own, uh, we all have our off days. Huh. Well, isn't that special? With the emperor. I detect something different about today. Hmm. With the higher friend. All of the like things that so far I would expect are in there. So that's good. Um, okay, so we have the lovers. The wood sliding. The path ahead is strewn with obstacles or strewn with the obstacles. Well, ain't that the truth with the lovers? The chariot and one day this will be me. Oh, dead in the swamp. All right. Strength. Sea Eagle Envy. Hmm. And I like that the numbers are there too. And then Overwhelm with the Hermit. Your warmth melts the frostiest heart. Hmm. With Wheel of Fortune. I'm looking for the number. Oh, 10 up here. Oh, it looks like there's rooms in this. Cool, cool. Welcome strangers. And then justice. Hangman with Vesta, Vesta guards the fires. A small wooden home near the waters. Okay. With death. Interesting death card. Because you have towers in the back. Hmm. I'm interested to read what she has to say about that. She cares for the lake with temperance. That's interesting with temperance. I feel like these are really good pairings just based off of this. I think this will be a really good jumping off point. I know Lisa, because I talked to her about this deck too, um, she said she actually pulls the oracle first and then does the spread based on what the oracle card says, which is backwards of how I normally do it. I've always done the tarot cards first and then the oracle to wrap it up. So I'm interested to try the other way and see how that goes. A merry dance for the tower. A sudden, a sudden lack of confidence. It's cursive, so it's taking me a second. Sorry, guys. The star. It almost looks like a very similar girl too. As dry as bone with the moon. Well, that's a very aggressive looking moon card if I've ever seen one. A single card of truth with the sun. So I'll make sure they're not all stuck. We have judgment with one pair of hands. The world with a long and thanks for all the fish. So long and thanks for all the fish. Oh, okay. Like they're leaving. It's also white writing, so it's a little more difficult to read. All right, so now we're in our wand suit. The 
that which moves me to tears. Oh, that's very sad. Other two of wands. I hear the universe with the three of wands. Four of wands with halfway there. Five of Wands with scrying in the waters. Okay. In search of bigger fish with the Six of Wands. Above the waving trees. Oh, above the warning trees, the clouds formed a word. No. Above the waving trees, the clouds formed a word. With Seven of Wands. I feel like I really got to pay attention to the cursive writing now. That was... That was a Seven. Sorry, that was a Seven. And now we're at the Eight. Different Strokes. With the Nine of Wands. I am unfeasibly... Jealous, okay, with the 10. One day I will return with our page, with our night. I may have taken more than I need. Never truly alone, oh. With our Queen of Wands. And then our King gets uh, freaked out by Seagrass. I would too. Gross. I'm definitely a middle of the lake person. I don't want anything touching my feet. I'm not even really a pool person. I prefer the middle of the lake. So this deck is kind of cool that it's based on a lake. The oysters have shucked my feet. Ew. And now we're into our sword suit. Two of swords. Tossed about by turbulent dreams. I feel like this is a really good broad oracle. Like it seems like there's quite a few different things going on. Contemplating morality with three of swords. Four of Swords with holding my breath. Hmm. It might be more of a holding my breath, waiting for a Four of Swords that would go. These clever, these clever little lights only come on in the dark. And then we have the Five of Swords. The cold ever for the dog. Oh, too cold ever for the dog. With six of swords. Cloud control with seven of swords. Definitely the artwork. It feels like, I know everyone says it feels very fiery. But I also feel like it feels very dark. Like, I feel like when your brain's a mess and you are like, I don't know where to start and everything just feels jumbled. I feel like that's that. This is that in a deck. Red magic with nine of swords. Whoops. Ten of swords with... Flaming Liberty. In Search of the Actualization. Hmm. Page of Swords. Knight of Swords with This is all very well, but how will we eat? Hmm. Everything here is mine. Queen of Swords. 
Okay, so sometimes it is good to share with our king. A lot of cards in this deck. Ace of Cups. Where Tide brings apples, make cider. I would say make apple crisp, but sure. <laughs> Sarah sits and Sarah sews. Hey, I do that. And that's with our two of cups. We're now in the cups. I feel like I missed the ace of cups. Did I? I totally did. Let's go back. We have our ace of cups and it's super pretty. And then we have our two of cups. Eating from my hands with the three of cups. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, we have the four of cups with who made this. Thirsty work along with five of cups. I see you there gleaning in the distance with our six and then seriously intoxicating hmm, with our seven of cups i feel like that's a really good pairing right there at last at friend with a boat that's the eight of cups we have our nine of cups with the limitless. We are not connected with the ten of cups. Page of cups, a beard of fish. So basically, there's enough oracle cards to do the majors and almost three full sets of suits. So that's really good, I gotta say. That's quite a deck. All right, let's focus on the rest of the tarot. All right. So we are at Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups, she's really pretty. King of Cups. Ace of Coins, Two of Coins, Three of Coins, interesting. I like it when they veer off a little bit and do their own thing, but I still like the elements to make it clear of what the card is without just having the name. Four of Coins, Five of Coins, Six, seven, nope, not seven. We have our eight, nine, ten, and then we have our page right there. Our Knight of Coins. And then our Queen, how beautiful. And then our King of Coins. All right, now that we've done the walkthrough, I'm super excited about these decks. Whoops. Oh. Guys, have you ever done that? I'm trying to keep it in order and then it just decides it has a story of its own. And it wants to do backwards things. All right, I guess that's a sign that we be done, we be over. But I want to pick a card. 
So we'll just do it from the back. That's annoying. I'm going to have to fix that. We have one day I will return. What's Seven of Swords? Let's see what these cards have to say about each other. One day I will return. Four of Clubs. Oh, that's diamond, so maybe it's near the front. Four of hearts. Okay, so we have the four of clubs. So four of clubs says, bringing you home, four of clubs is rescue, bringing you home. How many ways may you re reuse a soul this one can make me cry she dragged sarah from the lake bedraggled and weighted down by her own adornments unable to save herself yet she took the risk and arrived at your place she came for you just as you knew she would a moment to in integrate your past as the stern wooden eye watches you. What can you drag back from the depth of your own memories? How should you attend your past to take care of you now? Oh, wow. That seems really potent. Like, what from my past can I bring to my future that's important and will help me now? That's cool. And then we have Seven of Swords. Let's go to the front and make it easier. Mm, seven of Swords, 146. All right. Taking an action out of necessity not pleasure stealth required a duplication nature caution when using cunning revelation of the character uh symbols is green eyes playing cards stars and wolf i'm not going to read the whole thing but i think that's really cool taking action out of necessity so pulling from your past out is a necessity to move through the future. That's really cool. I think that is a really good deck. I think they match really well, obviously. <sighs> Excuse me. But I just think also it's really potent. I think this could almost be like, not necessarily shadow work, but almost like a shadow work deck. I wonder if anybody else has said that. I feel like it could almost be a shadow work deck to help you work through your shit. Especially if you have a lot. I feel like shadow work, but also specifically like if you have a lot on your mind type of shadow work.